Greetings, ladies and gentle people. It is September 13th, 2019, a Friday, and that means it's another wonderful day for basics, as you can clearly see over here. I'm over on Foxy, I'm on my one Don account, good old Sand B, because I heard some of your suggestions loud and clear, such as Yolanda, who said I am a 4Q1 KGS, and I would obviously love to get to a Don level, so that one Don to 3Q range would be really nice for me. And such as Joel, who said I prefer the one Don basics because it uh, deals with some of the subtleties that DDK games don't deal with. He is an SDK, so that may be why he likes the one Don games best. So I thought, all oh, right, we're gonna do that, but I don't think we're gonna be bleep blooping today. I think I've had it just about up to here with the bleep blooping uh, for like the next week or so. <laughs> so the bleep blooping will probably return, but for now, I think we're just gonna do something a bit more traditional. I think we're gonna focus on them biggie points and maybe try not to stab anyone today. Maybe not, maybe no stabbing. Because it's always amazing how much we could get through the game with, without violence. It's crazy, yo. It's crazy. Alright, got a game. Accepted the 15 minute game because why not? Maybe he'll take a little bit more of his time. It'll be interesting. Going dual for four points. Got ourselves a Chinese framework here. I think I'm going to approach it very, very, very old school, in which I'm just going to go and approach from the outside, so he encloses, and I'm just going to back off. That's all I'm going to do. At least that was the idea. Wasn't he pretty simple? He's pincered me now, so we just approach, as per usual, and then just settle. Now, he's attached to me here. It's tempting to descend into this kind of thing and then kind of like pincer, but I'm just going to go ahead and take a very, very chill uh, result here and make myself some shape. Now, you can see a lot of weird thoughts from the one Don immediately. Like, you can see all this weird aggression. He made a framework, I approached it. He's like, boom, pincer in you. I'm just like, okay, I'll just approach. I'm just going to chill. And you're like, boom, attaching to you. Right? He's very, very, very much a weirdo. And you'll be tempted to do weird things in return. But we ain't gonna do that. I can connect here because we can read the ladder. It's completely fine for me. So, boom. I have to play here. And to make sure I don't have to worry about anything, I'm even gonna play here. There we go. I got myself some shape. Perfect. He's approaching me. I'll back off. No problems there. Now he's hitting my 3-3. Three, three. That's fine. I'm going to block towards my thing. I've been leaning towards saying double Hane here. Uh, I really, really think that's the best idea. I'm still experimenting with the not doing that kind of thing. So I approach here because we can see a couple of things here. If this is one, two, three, four, five stone wall, we can see that he is one, two, three spaces away. So I thought he was going to pencil me and I changed directions. Since he's not, I'm still going to operate on the idea that this is just too close and I'm just going to get a base. Put some pressure on these stones. See what he wants to do. Threatening to connect underneath. So if I was going to be a really huge jerk, I'd play here first to see if I can't disconnect him. And I'm going to. I'm booking his cutting point. That's all we're doing here. Because you can see here that because he's got so many cutting points, he's got... Look, look, let's look, let's look, let's look. Shape has to matter. He has one, two, three, four cutting points right there. So all I'm doing is asking, dude, what you, you're, you're trying to like connect up or something, but what about all these cutting points? Where can I cut? How can I cut? He said I can cut there. Oh, that's fan. That's fan freaking tastic, yo. 
Dude, that means I get to Hane here. Okay, you can connect. I'm not greedy. Connect. That sounds good, bro. I like it. You're fine. You do you. See, we're not being aggressive. We're not trying to put pressure on him. Or we're not trying to, like, kill him or attack him for no reason. It's just occasionally he does things. Like, leave a bunch of weaknesses behind. And then he wanted to create even more cutting points. So all we did there was ask, Okay, what else are we doing here? You know? These cutting points, something's going to give. Either the two stones here, or I'm disconnecting here. Like, something's going to give. It's not because, oh, you're such a stronger player, you can get away with doing things like this. No. Not even at all. I like people, I like people like saying that, but it's not. I'm just, I'm just poking a shape. So you have four cutting points here. Like, what's going on? Like, right now I can descend here later on. Or I can Hane here. That's, that, this is working great. But for now, let's go back and play here. We got him, you know, reduced some more. We'll play here later. We'll play here later. It's fine. For now, let's make sure that he's uh, being honest with his group. And it's not really complicated. It's just seeing, like, there's four things there. You could have poked it. I wish I could go back and show you. Uh, but I can't right now. But you could have poked it different ways. Just to see, like, what's there? You know? Like, what's going on? You don't know unless you go... And he's fine. You know, he's fine. It's, it's it's all good. Okay. Well, Tari. Are we going to Ko? That was happening? Like, what, what's going on here? Okay, no Ko. I mean, I can play away. Sounds fine. Now I'm putting pressure on the one stone. He can take this one too. I'll Atari and then do the same thing I just did. Yeah, yeah, okay. Sure. Stone's all yours, buddy. Stone's all yours. Uh-huh. Hmm... A little bit odd, but okay. How's going, Hane? Um, Altari, I guess. Altari again. Take. All right, looks good. Looks good. Um, what now? <clears throat> I'm leaning towards this one to defend, or maybe this one, or I think this one, right? Yeah, it's this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see this one, right? Because he puts pressure here, like, ah, I don't know what's going on. If I put pressure here, it's threatening to get into A. It's really not an aggressive game. Some people might look at this and say, oh my god, you're so violent. We're just looking after our shapes predominantly, you know? I really believe that. I don't think this I don't think we're playing aggressively here. Now he's obviously his win conditions are the corners, because he's created a weak group on top of the board. There's a mess in the lower right. He's got mostly second line, like over in here. So he's trying to win off this and this, because he stole my corner for ten points and he has like this for like, you know, ten or fifteen or whatever. So pick up an extra ten here, and that's fifteen, ten. Uh, 25, 30, maybe 40 points if he can especially, uh, pull out something here. And then, you know, that's, that's just, just the way it's going, right? Just the way it's going. He can play here, it's fine. He'll go to the corner, I'll take this. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Now, the danger here is at some point I have to do something with... I have to do something with these three stones. 
Uh, the trick with the 3 3 invasion, though, is if you do something too soon, it's too small. Right? It's too small, they take a bigger point, and then you're behind. Right? Straightforward. Uh, something too late, and it's a similar problem. That now you don't get anything there, and that's, you know, an issue. Okay. So I think I could probably play here and potentially kill him because he's neglected a move. A very, very important move. But I think what I want to do first is go back and play here before we do anything else because we just mentioned the corners and how there's uh, an issue there, right? I'm going to play here. All right, that's strange. That's an overplay. Do we want to let him get away with it? Because now I can Hane on the inside and he can't cut me. So these two stones are cut off. That's another problem with playing here. There's a lot of people don't know the Jiseki. They're just kind of like winging it. And here, yeah, I can play here. Because if he cuts me, I Atari and he's dead. And if he plays here, I Hane and he can never cut me. Otherwise, self Atari, and then he's dead. So all he can do is take this one. Uh, that point, we Atari back. If he goes into here, we Atari here, he takes, we Atari, he connects, I Hane. And then if he fills, I'll just drop down. And if he doesn't, then there's a code for life in the corner. You know? I don't think he knows that that's there, but that's technically there now. And I have to decide what I want to do about it. Let's say I do nothing about it, because we're not actively trying to engage in conflict. Let's say I just play here. It gives him more of the corner than he should have. Like, these two stones should absolutely be cut off now. By virtue of his mistake here. The minute he extends out, he's like, the corner's no longer mine, bro. Alright, got a huge wall. He'll probably try to invade the bottom, sadly. And if he does that, he might just get killed. Because he has a group on top that's not alive, and the group on the bottom is not alive. They're both going to the middle, where they can't live simultaneously, and then something dies. So we can already sort of plan out uh, a couple of variations in this game that will go very, very badly for black, and we've identified why they could go badly for black. He has one group not alive, he might create another one not alive to deal with the influence, because he has to. Like, look how... Look how little territory this guy has, right? Let's actually count. I'm actually gonna count. One, two, three, four. There's five there, right? And then this here, right, is two, four, six, eight, and ten. So this is ten. So he's got fifteen. Um this is two, four, six. And then he might have he might have uh ah right underneath my eye where my glasses are. Itching. Um, he might have, like, what, 8? So he might have 8 points here. So 10, 15, plus 8, and then he just picked up 2, 4, 6, 8. Another 8 over here. Hopefully this is going to be worth 10. Right? That's a very weird 0. But we're not dealing with large amounts of territory, like, less than 10 here, less than 10 here. The upper left and the upper right are, like, the big, the big boys this game. They might be saying, well, where's where's your territory? Right? Where's where's my point? Where are your points? It's a good question. That is a really great question. Let's look. Let's look at that too. Because a lot of people get uncomfortable and have really big trouble um, estimating what's going on, on the board. Let's say, hypothetically, I get third line territory across the board. Right? What's that? Well, that's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is almost thirty points. If I'm getting, if I'm actually getting uh, the third, if I'm getting the, sorry, the third line as territory, which means we're getting like yeah, yeah this, 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 just like the fourth line. Sorry, I, I worded that wrong. That was weird. That was a weird wording. I mean, like if we actually have three solid lines of territory across the bottom, like none of. Like, none of this, none of this. We just have just have the bottom. And that's 30 plus Comey, so we're at 36 now. But remember, this was just 8, this was just 8, this was 10, 15, this was 10. So that seems like that in and of itself would make for 
an even game, right? Kinda. Kinda. Especially when you can contemplate that I didn't count in any of this territory. There's two dead stones there, so that's two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe ten if I get the descent. So now we're at 46 points. If I keep just the bottom and that little right bit. And the reason why this is like that is because he invaded my corner and gave me a huge wall he's done nothing about. He invaded my corner again. I'm getting stuff there. The right is just second line for the most part. And then he only has one decent source of territory. Which means he's got to be. He's got to be in here. He's got to reduce in here. He's got to build up in there. He's got to keep me to here for this to be an even game. That's freaking huge, man. It really is. That oh man, that's that's oof, oof. It's big, especially because that bottom, that upper left hand. What if I invaded that? By by ten points, what we told him. Now I'll get. Now I'll get five. Does he just, like, flat-out lose the game if I take his corner? Crazy. Now, I don't do all of that counting and, uh, and estimation. <clears throat> I know some of you really, really like it. I don't really ever do that much of it. Ever. I can just kind of recognize it immediately, which I'm sure does not help at all. But for me, I just see, okay, he's got a small area here, he's got like a small area here, decent here. I've got an enormous here, a small here, so small, small, great, check, check, that's probably about even. Um, I can make this area larger than this. These two areas might be me I right? Because I can get a base, and if I get a base, then this and this is like about equal. So then where, where does he equal this potential? He's got to like reduce all of it or he just loses the game. So I, I feel pretty much ahead. That, that's pretty much where or how I, you know, judge games. Kind of like this eyeball it. Like here, I'm just going to go ahead and attach here just to kind of reduce his corner a little bit. Just to reduce his corner a little bit. Get a couple more points for ourselves and stabilize the group. Like the idea here is that if I've invaded if I invaded the corner, right? We can picture that he might get like a solid wall from that invasion. And if he gets a solid wall, then what happens when he starts throwing in here? Will this really not connect to that? Will this really not connect up underneath here? And if so, what happens to that entire group? Because I kind of undercut. He has a new win condition that came out of nowhere. I got a group. It's floating. Why do any of that? Why do any of that when we're sitting pretty? Our win condition is right there in his face. We have to do... It's him. It's all him. He's got to do something this game. This game, he has to do something about. Not me, man. He's given me my win condition. I've done nothing but pretty much respond to him. Right? Like, even this little light poking here, it, it wasn't it wasn't astronomical. It wasn't like a game-breaking, oh my god, you're freaking fived on, so you saw some pokes there, and now he's lost the game kind of deal. Right? It's just light poking. Kept him low. Just kept him low. That's all. Didn't kill him. Right? I think we agree. It didn't kill him. I didn't magically get two eyes out of here. Because we're worried about eye shape, by the way. We pulled off a table over here. And let's face it, it's like building the entire bottom. So this is kind of like the equivalent of, you know, walking softly but carrying a big gun. Or big stick. It's a big stick, right? Yeah. Size of your gun doesn't matter. Tell that to... Note to self. Cut that last part out of the video. All right, so he's way paranoid about his group. I mean, I totally get it. He doesn't have a single... He didn't really have a solid eye here. Like, I could go here into here. 
And then at that point, or, I mean, it, uh, the eyes are just not there, you know. So I'm just going to play here. Now we can't get a nice base on the bottom anymore. And we can extend this far because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And we've extended uh, one, two, three, four, five, Six doesn't seem over-concentrated, right? We were, we're six out from six wall. Seems fine. Seems fine. Um, I guess we'll just play normal, normal Jishki here. Do the Hane stuff. But yeah, I think we've won. So we'll play again. We'll play again. I think very likely I'm going to be cutting a lot of the uh, end game if we go to end game out of the video. That way we can play two, maybe even three games today. So depending on how I tried to edit this, might be jumping ahead shortly. Coolios. Huh, did we make an oopsie daisies? That's an interesting move. That's an interesting move. Like, it seems like he's suggesting Ayatari, right? He Ataris, I Atari, he takes, and then I just, like, Atari again? So it's a trade? His corner gets ripped to pieces? But he gets like these stones. Doesn't seem like a very bad trade. I think I'm just gonna go and play here though. Cause I got this Atari, right? Or the connection. It looks like I got Mii. Right? So I'll play this one. And then I'll play this one. And then he'll play. Hmm, what will we play? Hmm. I think that's dead. I have to play here right now, live in the corner. Oh yeah, some extra shape. Yeah, not really sure what's gonna go what's gonna happen here, huh? Not really sure. Not really sure. Yeah, I'm going to play this one right now. Like, I don't know what's going on over here. I, 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 I don't know. I didn't consider all the things I needed to consider in order to play here. A pirate ruined Lee. Um, I don't want to really run this away because it seems like... It seems like it's just um, not doing anything for us right now. So we're just going to calmly acknowledge that didn't do a thing for us and just give it up. This is fine. Maybe we connect up there. Maybe we connect up. Maybe I connect. We'll just, we'll let him tell us what we're doing. We'll just let him tell us what we're doing. Am I connecting? Am I going to play the Hane? What am I doing here? Uh, also, I'm going to be playing this move very shortly. Because you can see it's kind of like finishing off the uh, sector line. At which point most of this is going to be our points. Which is a lot of points. We don't need all of it. So, okay. I'll take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 lines of territory. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, like whatever. Sign, fine. Fine, 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 fine. Um, it doesn't quite work, so I'll go in Hane, right? You can you can read that, Hane. I get cut. Atari. He's going to play here, I think, right? Now that's a ko. Okay? This is a ko. If you are playing this game, you want to fight the Ko, that's fantastic. I don't think technically we should fight the Ko. So I'm not going to. I don't want to fight the Ko is what I want to say. I don't want to fight it at all. We're not being aggressive, remember? Mm, okay, let's, let's connect. Let's connect. Not aggressive. Who's aggressive? Someone say something about aggressive? I didn't hear it. I heard nothing. I heard nothing about aggression. 
Because just this should be good enough. What's going on here? Has that connected? Excuse me. Hi. Does he want to go? He wants. He's daring me to call him. He's daring me to call him. Oh my god. What are you doing? What is this? This isn't working. That's not working. Come on. Come on. That ain't working. Well, let's just pick an emergency eye here, Atari. That way, if I need this for some reason, it's there. Because you can see I got like an eye there and an eye there. Do we need it? Probably not, but you know, whatever. Um, so I'll go ahead and just cap him because there's nowhere for him to run to. Don't let him Atari or anything like that, and then we should be fine. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. Don't do it. So you're gonna go to Co. Oh, come on, you aren't actually. What are you doing, sir? I think he's just committing suicide, like, on an insane basis. I'll just go ahead and connect that up real quick. It makes certain that there's nothing bizarre here, right? Like, this cutting stone is dead. This is, like, a nice emergency move. This is Atari for the corner. He can come out if he wants to. If I get the corner back, who cares, right? Da -na -na, da -na -na -na. Unfortunately, a lot of times when we're playing these kind of basics games where we're obviously just developing more because they're doing some small stuff, we do have a lot more. And it's tempting to try to hold on to everything. Always make sure you don't get tempted to do that. The danger of basic play, like we're seeing here, is that you're tempted to like just kill all of the invasions all the reductions. You're afraid that you need more than you really do in order to win the game. Don't fall into that trap. Like right now, I have a simple offer. He can go live his group somehow. Maybe. I don't know. Possibly. I'll take the corner back. That's fine. It's still way more than enough. And even if he takes right now, I might not even try to kill him. Because look at this. One, two, three, lines of territory. We got it, right? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I was going to say, well, this is, you know, one, two, three, four, five. So that's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 30. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's 40. Atari. And then if you want to just live locally, I'll play here. Threaten and take this. And then I'll play here and take a nine. That was the whole point of this. He couldn't just like drop straight down and try to prevent us from getting an eye. We made that emergency move to ensure we had our eye. Looks well, like I'm not cutting out any of this game. <laughs> Weird how games go, huh? Weird how games go. Looks like we're not cutting out anything. But yeah, now our corner is huge. It is so big, it is incalculable. Semi-Atari. We could just jump out if we wanted to. I mean, that would, that would have been fine too. Or we could just connect. Force him to defend himself and then try to kill him again. Because this group still has no eyes. I mean, it's completely possible. Requires some reading, though. But, you know, it's possible. Make sure their left doesn't grow too large, I guess. Because our bottom is pretty good, you know. 
take some extra territory here. Um, is this overplay, you think? Maybe, huh? All right, I'll just extend then. Extend one more time. We're not trying to kill him. Still not trying to kill him. Threatening to take out his two eye is uh two stones. No reason to push here because he blocks and there's no cutting. So hypothetically, if I really wanted to cut this, I'd try to cut here first, then get this one in, and then see what I can do. I don't even. Do I don't think it does anything though. Let's just be mindful of our own group and connect that up. We mentioned that earlier, so we did that. It looks like from here, we're probably fine, right? So there's no reason to go all the way to end game. And I think from here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut to the review, I think is what we're going to do here. Right? Because if we look at score estimator, You can see that we are up by 42.5, and that's not really changing ever. We have an eye here, we have our eye here, we can we have me eye. Our area on the bottom can't be reduced, and we don't have to do anything else. So yeah, let's go ahead and cut to review. Alright, all things considered, not much to actually cut. He resigned fairly uh, shortly, so that's cool. Go ahead and review again, make sure we all understand how we got that position. So we just played four fours, he played high Chinese, I expected this into this, it's nice, it's simple, he gets something, I get something, he even gets sente. Uh he's got a big follow-up later for the undercut, and all is well in our world. But he said no. So he pincered us, so we approached, he attached to us, so we gave him the territory, he attached to us, we backed off, made sure our corner was nice and, or our uh, group was nice and fine, we could have played here possibly. But then you have to deal with this one, and it's like, oh, well, I guess we're making a dumb shape anyway. Might as well go ahead and do it, right? So, bam. Now, this is totally not needed, but we don't want to suddenly find ourselves like, okay, I have to do that, and then maybe he'll go, all right, then I can play something like this one. And we have to be like, okay, we have to take... And then, you know, it's just weird, you know, it's just weird. So, all right, bam, we did this one. Could also, probably something like this if we wanted to, but then we got to, like, look at this one, and, like, uh, I don't know. Hmm. So we played here. Shape, easy. And then he should play here to defend this group, and then I'll probably play here to make sure that he can't uh, approach me or do this one to block the extension, and then we continue on the game. He should not be unhappy about this position. He's up by 15 bloody points right now. Which, 15 points at the beginning of the game isn't really all that large, all things considered. Because, like, who can use influence better? Uh, there's, like, there's tons of options, you know? It's not the end of the wild, though. He plays here. Now that 15. Check this out. Like... I'd be on I'd be starting to get uncomfortable in this game because yeah, I'm down by 30 points right now. Cause he stole my corner. You can see he's picking up a lot of territory. You can see that I'm not. I'm not. It's part of the allure of the of the uh, early 3-3 invasion. He has went from 15 points to 30 points up by virtue of hitting one 3-3 point. Now it's getting a little uncomfortable, but we're, we're attacking. We asked a question. If he had said, I'm going to defend this way or something, then I would have just played here. And then he'd probably play something like this one. And then I'd play something like this one. And he'd play there. The disconnect was in Sente. And at that point, he'd be dead. So just like that, the score completely turned around. 
Interesting. Very interesting. 30 up to 11 down. And it helps because, you know, we just we just looked. We just looked. It's like, hey, where's the Aji? It's like, oh, Aji's over here. This game, he said, where's the Aji? Said, oh, the Aji's over here. Like, oh, okay. Okay. I got you. I got you. He played here. Later on, we'll do something over in here. Not now. We went back and answered. Went back and answered. If he takes this one, we'd have gone done the exact same friggin' thing again. Because this is just second line crap. Right? If he plays this way, he dies. Like, I don't want to put too fine a point on it, but he's dead. We will absolutely either kill this or make it wish it was it had died by virtue of the fact that of it just gives us way too much, right? So this wall is just not good, not good. That wall, that wall, that wall is bad. Bad wall, bad wall. Like this dragon running out next to our group on an open board we can profit this is this is a bad dragon right here he needs to have just uh, gone ahead and done anything else that maybe come out much better like sure I might connect underneath but who cares who cares are you really jealous of this if you are you got a lot of studying to do mate but yeah he went down I got to attack him instead. Lightly, so lightly. He's just trying to settle, it's fine. Just trying to settle, that's fine. Just settling. Oh yeah, I want to try this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if I play here, he plays here, he dies. So and if he plays here, it's the same thing. He can't play there self Atari. This is never a thing. Because again, dies. So he has to play here, right? Now we can play here, and now if he does this, that is suddenly code for life. He plays there, right? Can we find a co-threat on this board? Found one. Can he find a move big enough anywhere on this board for this up for this group? I don't think so. Like, even this, I don't think I'd respond to it. Because if he plays here, I'll just play this one. And then to settle here, right? So, that's really, really big. We decided to let him just get away with it. Whatever. The top was, an, was a mistake. I guess this was technically better, given our shape. But it's fine. And then from here, from here, estimating, we are currently 20 up, which is fine. Especially since the 20 up is kind of conservative. Because this group here is not attached to anything. Um, yeah, we're not doing too badly. Not doing too badly. So I hope you understand how this game came about, how we got ahead so easily how we kept it. And on that note, let's go ahead, play again. All right, got a game as black versus a one Don plus on Pandanet. We switch servers. Because I know a lot of y'all like playing on various servers. So I figure, yeah, one Don's one Don. Let's go switch over and out. See what's what, see what's where. And that was really chill. Let's listen to it again. Listen to that again. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Now I'm gonna do four, four, three, four facing this way because I like it as black, not as white. I would not have this facing. Ooh, ooh, choices. I could enclose, or I could approach. I'll enclose. I guess. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Tell me. Tell me your secrets, man. 
Ooh, Chinese. I'm going to approach from the widest side this time rather than the side. I think this is a little bit smaller. Now, I think I'm supposed to be hitting the 33 point right now because that was just kind of Giuseppe. It's the standard response to the high approach. And part of it is just to ensure that they can't like, kick you and then Hane and then connect and then get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like 30 points just out of bloody nowhere. If they were low, and that second line, that's 20 points instead of the 30. That's a huge difference. So, yeah, this is just, it's just canon. He should know that this is going to happen to him. That is such a mistake. Oh, my God. He's he's mixing up Jiseki. He's mixing up, like, the pincer Jiseki and the standard for the Chinese. Ooh, that's bad. Like, he's dead. Like, if I cut him right now, he just loses the game. Like, how do you hold the cuts? If I play here, what are you going to do? What the what the ever-loving frack are you going to do? I'm going to create a cutting point, and I'm going to connect and let them deal with it. He's probably going to deal with it by playing the Hane here. I mean, it's fine-ish. Not really. This is just bad. Pick up an enclosure again. Now we can play here, into here, and we've just profited madly. So you see him trying to build here. This is what they do on uh, this server a lot. But you can see he's building off of ridiculously bad shape, my man. So once you start identifying shape, you don't really get afraid of the people on Pandanet anymore. You just don't, because it's like you're... I get it, you're using your Sentai to build, but dude, the building that you're doing is just, hmm, hmm. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and grab our double extension right now from our enclosures, because we got two of them. Okay, he's penciling me, that's fine. Or not pincering me, he's uh, proing me, sorry. <laughs> Wrong word. Uh, might just do this one. Nah, just, just do it, do it, do it, do it. Basics, 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 basics. Just, just, just chill. Just chill. Now, I'm not going to play here and give him this free move. I'm going to play here instead. I'm going to put pressure on it because it doesn't deserve a base. So it won't have one ever. Um, I'll turn. Because it didn't extend. The cut doesn't work. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. But first, I'm going to extend here as well. There we go. Just taking up some points. Taking up some pointy pointies. That's Gote, so we will approach low this time. Because there's no reason for him to grab all this for territory by virtue of the fact that he played a three space extension in Gote. Right? Light shape here is required. Like, you know, you need a little bit of uh, knowledge of light shape in order to, uh, you know, play at some Dons occasionally. So here's my shapey shapies. Uh, I forgot to close Foxy, so we're going to do that too. Thank you, Foxy. I just, just log off Foxy. We're done. We're done with Fox. There we go. There we go. And Shapey Shapey, like I mentioned. Uh, doesn't strike me as Sente, but okay, I'll respond to it. And then this is a threat to clamp and kill him. And then something like... Uh, this makes certain that he can't really expand, you know, nicely. For that, like a one point or like a two point jump is all. Okay. 
Um, I can jump out once. So put some pineapple lines. Therefore, he can't cut me. He has to jump. He has to retreat. He can't. Dude. Well, this unfortunately has to die because it doesn't work. Like, he had to jump out, and then I was going to fix this, but I was getting the forcing move first. He disagreed that my forcing move was forcing, and then he cut me instead, and now he's just dead. Not, now he's, he's just not alive anymore. And that's all there is to that. These stones are dead. So he might resign now. Therefore, game three, question mark? Maybe, huh? Maybe. Maybe game three. Maybe game three. This is dead. This, this, yeah, you're dead here. Sorry. Okay. Okay, sacrificing. Sacrificing. At least we're getting something out of our investment. Okay. Okay, okay. Sure, sure, sure. Um, he's going to cut me, but it doesn't really matter because it's going to be in Gote, and he has to connect here. Yeah, this doesn't matter because this is dead, so this, this is not a cutting point. And since that's not a cutting point, I can ignore it. This is cutting nothing. We're just taking the outside right now. So... I want you, ladies and gentle people, to put on your thinking caps. Put on your thinking caps right now and look at this board. I want you to tell me where is an amazing move that is filled with awesomeness. Where is it? Where is it? Where's the move? There's a move on this board that is, ooh, it works so well with everything we've been doing. Mmm. It's just, oh, it's just, it's, it's just a 10. It's just a 10. Where do you see a 10? Where do you see a 10? Hmm? Where do you see a 10? A perfect 10. Where do you see it? If you said that you saw a perfect 10 on the new YouTube channel, Baduk with Rebene, then you would be right. My student's new channel is in fact a perfect 10 and you should all go subscribe to her congratulations on getting that one right i tip my hat off to all of you but yes the move that we were talking about is right here it's not to try to kill it it's just to get all that outside and since we're getting all that outside i'm going to hane on the outside in preparation for that glorious delicious middle because that, that's that's the era we're living in right now, right? The middle the middle era? Yeah, yeah, that's the that's the era. There we go. And with one move, here is what we're threatening. Boom 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 boom. Oh yeah, look at that. It's just like Yep. This uh, this area is mine. <laughs> Rude Yours a you want to die, kid? This is this because this is how we die. He's trying to go into my area. I'm not standing for this. No, it's fine because I'm getting this area and I've got the bottom. It's all I need. I've got the top left corner. I don't have to kill anything. We can just, you're right, I hear you, you're right, don't go crazy and kill things. We don't have to, you're right. I'm just going to take the outside here, I'm going to take some territory here, and it's going to be fine. There's no reason to try to murder my opponent right now. There's no reason. What are you, jealous? You jealous? You jealous he's so dead? Huh? I bet you're jealous. You've never seen someone as dead as he is, have you? Okay. If he doesn't see it, it's, it's on him, not me. He doesn't see it.
Like I said, if he didn't see it, it's on him, not me. Uh, not my fault. He didn't protect. Not my fault he didn't protect. We're just sliding right through him right now. Not my fault. None of this is my fault. I take no blame for this. But while we're doing this, and essentially now using uh, this person as our personal punching dummy, let's see what else we can get out of him, shall we? We're defending our group on top. Okay. I will make shape. You are quite right, sir. I will make shape for myself. So this is a huge corner, by the way. And this huge corner with this move is all into this. So we've, we've, we've clearly won. I mean, this is just beyond the pale. We've absolutely won. He poked at us, but poking at this shape is not useful in the slightest. Like, he's at worst taking one stone. But, I mean, the other group... Get the other group needs, yeah, need need some stuff, huh? Um, I'll just make a little little doggy dog. The Doge will save us. Fear not. Man's best friend, so I hear. So I believe, little Doji gonna help us. Energy, little Doji. Ruff, 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 ruff. See, he's gonna help us. Why it's called that? Mm. Looks like oh. can't really call it the ant eater. That'd be weird. But all right, we're out. We're out. Doom 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 doom. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Coolio, coolio. Just keep him from coming on in. Because again, we've got so much here, dude. This is enormous. And he's still not alive, by the way, which is sad. Which is absolutely friggin' sad. Like, there is, there are no eyes here that I can tell. He's just trying to kill me. Like, that's all this is. He's just trying to kill me. And it's unfortunate that he can't. But who can tell me why? Who can tell me why? You're promoted to one Don. I promote you to one Don plus. If you can tell me why it doesn't work. Why can't he kill me? Why do I have absolutely no fear of him killing me? These are just moves I'm using to buy you time to answer. What do you think? Where is it? Where is it? Because it looks like we're cut off. Uh, can we make two eyes somewhere? Is that, is that why? Mmm. Oof. Mmm. Ooh, there's a reason, but what's the reason? Mm. What could it be? What could it be? Shape. It's all about the shape. His shape sucks. Do you see the move? Do you see it? Like I have no I have no doubt that I could probably play like something like this one. Or into this one. Something like that for eyes. But I don't even need to do that much. Because check it. That just threatened to cut off the group. And cut through him. Removing that uh, stone. Killing him. He'll turn. It's okay. I'll accept your I'll accept your offer. Your offer is compelling. My two stones in exchange for your two stones. I I accept. I accept. Oh, not my two stones. You write your guitar here into yeah, yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good good read. Good read. Ten out of ten would read again. 
But yeah, I'm fine, you're fine, we're all fine together. Yeah, 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 I got you. I got you, boo. So, he's fine there. And then we're just gonna go and do... Wait, let's, let's go ahead and do this one first, because these are, these are sacrificed. So let's just get him to capture them. And then I'll push up. And then we're looking for forcing moves. Forcing moves. Atari, 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 Atari. Um, I think we can just do this one. And threaten double Atari. The net that he doesn't work, because we, we, we net this, right? And then he just goes right through us. However, I do wish to point out... That doesn't work, right? Who cares? I'm gonna play here. Alright, sweet. And then we're gonna play here. Make sure we've locked him out of our middle. From the middle of the board. Doot, 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 doot. I think I can play here because I don't think his move matters. Like, why the, why the attachment? I play here, he plays there, and then he does what? Like, I don't... I don't have to play here, but I will. I'm pretty sure I can kill that stone. That was just a greedy stone. And he played it like total hip shot, you know? So, I also don't think he read out if anything was even there. He was just like, Pew! Now get him? He did? Darn. Clamp here until this works. Right? No, it doesn't. Clamp and I play here. Yeah, yeah, never mind. It doesn't work. Stupid me. So he has to play a move on top of the board. He has to play moves up there. He has to. He, he just has to. He just has to. Because we can play this move. Or maybe this move first. Yeah, it's, just, it's just this one. Just this one. This one's Gucci. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Like it. Oh, by the way, if I Atari here and then play here, he's dead. So that's cute. So I can take these three, these three stones off of him whenever I want. He resigned. Okay, so question is how far were we up by? We don't know because I can't uh, do the score estimator on that one. So let's go ahead and do this one. And there we go. So the game ended. Estimating score. By us up by a conservative 23 points, considering there is more there for us that we have uh, yet to grab. Like, he has to play here to be the 23 points. And then we'll probably start playing endgame, like, um, here, 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 here. Um, blah, 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 blah. Something like this one into this one. Maybe here into here. Into here because he has to play this one now, I think, or this one. I think maybe this one because if he doesn't play anything else there, then we play here into here and then he's captured. He could play here, but that's like a huge loss in terms of territory because now all of this is no points, right? So that'd be a, that'd be a big that'd be a big loss. I think that's Sentai. and then we could do this one into this one, maybe this one, maybe this one, and then finish off with this guy. Because again, he can't play here because we Atari here, and he can't do this one otherwise he's captured. So if we play here, he's got to like play this one, I think. That way, this isn't. I guess that's. I guess that's fine. I guess that's fine. Yeah, this is fine. So the real score. 
considering we have Sente, is we're up by about 45 points. We're, up by about, we're probably going to be up by about 45 points. And that's just by virtue of the fact that Endgame is harsh for him. Endgame is very harsh for him. Because, like, yeah, what do you, what moves do you ignore? Do you not play here? And do you, like, defend this because of the thing later? Then I'm going to play this one. And then do you play this one? I'm going to play here. Going to play here again. Going to play here. Going to still do this. Going to still do this. Only now this is like worse, right? This is this is like so much worse. You know? Because now we estimate score. And we're by 52. So it's big. It's big, 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 big. So we can we can anticipate being up by about 40 points in this game. So Larger lead, weirdly enough, than uh, on Foxy. And how we did that is pretty simple. We we hit the 3-3 three, three because this is a thing. We don't usually do it if this is low, but again, low and high. If he gets fourth or fourth line territory, as in three lines of territory across ten lines, that's 30 points, as opposed to backing off low and getting like two lines of territory across ten, which is only 20 points. So we don't want to have the 30 points because with Comey, that, you know, 30, what is this doing? Excuse me, hi. There we go. And this really hurts. Like, I honestly don't know what he plays here. What does he do? He has a honey, right? So this just successfully cut off the top group? That's painful. That's not a good result, man. That's not a good result. Or you could also play here. Like, I don't even know how you respond to some of this stuff right now. Like, we're immediately reducing the outside. We've got Aji still. Yeah. Either way, we let him just get away with it. Took our enclosures, our extensions. He reduced. Put a little pressure on him. He should be getting out of here or fixing his shape or something right now. He played heavy. So we could do this one into this one now. Because look at the shape. The shape's terrible, right? The shape's terrible. Just so yucky shape. Grabbed our territory. Made ourselves some shapes here with some forcing moves. I still don't think this move is forcing, just so you know. Like, I could play this one instead. What's he going to do? Play here? Who cares? Who cares? Who who cares? No one cares. Go back and play here now, maybe? I don't even know. But yeah, we played here. It's fine. And he was supposed to play this one, and then I just, like, play here. It wasn't supposed to be tricky. It was not supposed to be tricky at all. Here, right now, he's behind enemy lines. Bam! So you jump out again. He didn't, so he's dead. Like, there's nothing you can do. Like, what if he plays this? So what? He's still dead. What if he play here? Okay. He did. So yeah, this is just dead. This is just dead. Cut doesn't work, doesn't matter, doesn't do anything. He took the influence, and then we saw the 10 out of 10? We saw the 10 out of 10. That is absolutely true. Which wasn't just the YouTube channel that my student has created, Baduk with Rebene, which you can probably find in the links down below. Probably going to be posting them there. You can go ahead and give her your support. Playing three Dons now. She's ranked up since this video, so way to go her. But yeah, I found the 10 out of 10 
uh, move over here. This lovely little shoulder hit that just works all over the place and makes y'all happy. Unfortunately, the shape issue after I played here had to be defended against. And then now it's just going to go back and play something like this one. It's all I envisioned. It's all I envisioned. Judges? Judges? Seems fine. But he missed it, I guess. I don't know. So, we poked at his cutting point. And he defended it, and then he got cut, and then he died. Try to attack his back. We just make sure we have shape. Make sure our shape is fine. And again, the shape issue. Again, that shape issue. We're just poking at his poke as a as cutting point. He cuts, he defends himself. We let it go. We don't try to kill everything because we're not we're not crazy people. And then yeah, bam. Done. End of game. Pretty nice, relaxing, and fairly straightforward and non-violent basics today. Hope you guys enjoyed the basics at the Don level. As always, if there are ranks you want to see, topics you want to see covered in the basics, do make sure you drop those comments down below. It's the only way I know what you're interested in. As always, glad you are liking the video. And as always, I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.